Hello and welcome to the Grey Tech Film Up Global Digital Conference 2019. My name is James Parsons Moore and I'm a UK AEC Customer Success Manager here at Grey Tech. You're about to watch my class on using Boom360 for internal technical reviews. Just a little bit about me. I'm an architectural technician by trade with over 20 years of industry experience. I've been working in the Autodesk channel now for over 11 years. I've been helping customers by training them, implementing them, helping them with their standards, methods, procedures, aligning with national standards, and basically just helping them do things in a better, more efficient way. A little bit about Grey Tech and the four pillars that we live by. We have Grey Tech Design, BIM Design using Autodesk products and enhanced with Grey Tech Power Packs. Grey Tech Simulate, using your BIM model to simulate your designs for use in the real world with market leading Grey Tech technologies. Grey Tech Fabricate, taking BIM deliverables through to finished fabricated products and site delivery. And Grey Tech Manage, managing all of your company's work in progress BIM data and IP before collaborating with an external CDE. This presentation will look at using BIM 360 docs to run internal technical reviews, including the presentation you will understand, how to upload PDFs and Revit files, creating reviews and approval workflows, submitting documents for review, working through the approval process, markups, rejecting, resubmitting, approving, and comparing versions of drawings and models. Just a little bit about to roll back a little, little on this and look at the common data environment process that we like to talk about as part of the um, ISO 19650 workflows. I'm just going to break it down a little bit more into a linear process where we take work in progress through to shared and published information with archiving throughout. Again, I'm going to separate these as well. We have, this is how we tend to work. We tend to work on a local server, mostly in the processes that I'm going to talk about. That's how we're going to work. We are then going to have a cloud-based DMS. So in this case, BIM 360. The process that we tend to do actually falls back and we have a shared environment within our local server. That is where we take our work in progress information. We run it through a check-in review and approving procedure. We prepare the information to be shared and then we push it to a common data environment. There, it is reviewed and authorized to be moved or copied into the shared or published environment. From this point, from a subscription ping based on folder level permissions, it can be downloaded and consumed by the other consultants and task team members. For this, this is the process I will concentrate on. A work in progress to shared and more significantly, the check, review and approve process between them. For this, we are going to start a project in Boom 360 and ensure the roles are created in account admin. We're going to fill out all the required information and add the required services. For the processes that we're going to do, all you need is document management that comes with Boom 360 docs. We're going to add administrators. We're going to create a folder structure where attributes will be added permissions applied, and title blocks with OCR are created. We're going to create reviews, and then we're going to upload documents and run them through that process. So for this, to save time, and so we can get to the nitty gritty of what we want to do, we're going to base this on a previous presentation that I've done, where I've created a common data environment workflow within BIM360 docs. As you can see on the left, my folder structure mimics that of a common data environment. We have a work in progress gateway area where we have holding folders for the different consultants, architects, structural engineer and the like. We have shared folder, published folder. I've replicated that down into project files and plans, but this time under architect, I've got another folder. It's for technical review submissions. I'm going to add permissions to this. So I'm going to be the architect and then Chris Hobbs is going to be the approver. I'm going to upload a file into here. This is a PDF, just a single sheet PDF. 
I'm going to use the OCR template that I've already created. It's going to look at that drawing sheet, that title block, and extract the relevant information. As you can see, this is internal. We're looking at a different revision. It's got a sub-revision to it. And you see it's populated all of the information, the metadata from the sheet. If I click on it, it is a PDF. We can navigate around it really easily. You see from the title block, you see the information that is extracted into the attributes within BIM 360. If we go into the folder structure under project files, we can do the same for a Revit model. Oh, I've nearly put it into the wrong folder there. Let's go back into it and actually click on the folder rather than just maximizing the folder structure. I'm just going to upload that Revit model into here. Let's take a quick look at it. And from here, we can zoom in, navigate, pull sections through, do markups, etc. But let's move on to the next stage. We're going to set up some approval workflows. If we click up here and choose Project Admin, I can create some reviews. And from here, I can create some approval workflows. I've got approval workflows already in here for the common data environment. Now, depending on how many people you want and how many different gateways you want people, if you want to check the work, you can set that up. But for this one, I'm just going to simply set it up as a one-person check-in procedure. I'm going to send it to Chris. Chris is either going to approve it or reject it with comments or not, and then it's going to come back to me. So I'm going to call this technical reviews. Plans, write a quick description in here, put the initiator down for myself, and put the final review down to Chris Hobbs. Then I'm going to create some approval statuses. We've got some already preset in here approved, rejected, approved with comments. Generally, I've said this before, but I don't like to approve the comments if I'm commenting on it. There's something not right, so I'm going to be rejecting it. So instead of removing, I'm going to keep it in there just in case I'm proved wrong. But I'm going to create another folder for rejected with comments where the file will be rejected, but there will be comments. I'm also going to set up a workflow on here that once it has been approved, it will be available into the work in progress gateway area. So automatically copy it through to there. I can duplicate this once it's done. I'm going to set up the same, but for project files. And this time I'm just going to tell it to go to the architect technical so the architect folder inside work in progress. So now I need to submit this file for review. So I select it in my folder and tell it to submit for review. At the top I choose uh, approval workflow. So I'm going to choose technical review plans. You see it won't let me choose the one for project files because it's not applicable to these folders. I'm going to submit it with any notes, notify any of the other members if I need to, I don't in this case, and add any messages. If we look under reviews, you'll see there's reviews open, and it's there for the next action to be by Christopher Hobbs. 
So if we go to Chris Hobbs, on his interface, he will see the same appear. So he now has an issue, sorry, a, a review that he needs to deal with. And it also tells you when it's due by as well. So it's going to start a review. He's going to look at the file. And then he's going to make some comments. Now I know he's quite fussy, so he's bound to make some comments on the drawing. And just here, it's going to comment that the file door is facing the wrong way. So it's just going to put a marker sort of around here and just write a little comment. It's just red penning live inside BIM 360. And then over here, it's going to make a comment to check any of the doors within internal rooms to make sure they have vision panels. And it's going to save that markup. And then it's going to make a comment. Once it's done that, it's going to change the status, the approval status, it's going to say it's going to reject that with comments. There's some changes that need to be done. And again, you can write any further notes in here as well. They've now been submitted. And back to myself. If I have a look under the my reviews, you see it's been closed. It's been rejected, oh no. Let's have a look, see what's happened. So we see the files there. There is a comment on it. It's been rejected. I can look at the comment. So comments on doors, please update and resubmit. I can go into the file and have a look at those comments. So from here, I can go away and do my work. Once it's done, I can re-upload it. Again, I'm just going to use the same template. I'm going to do the same for my Revit model. And as you can see now, that says version 2 is available. And we're still on version 1 inside here because it's not been published into the folder yet. I'm just going to tell it to view it, have a look and check the information. Oh, it's obviously including a little bit of text just there. I'm just going to check the information in here. The next revision has been done internally and I say showing folder. So 
So now we're looking at version two in our Revit model. So this is one of our favorite features inside Revit, where we can have a look and compare those versions. So we can do this for drawings and models. And in here, it very simply wireframes a model and tells you all of the elements that have been changed. It's amber for modified, red for removed, and green for anything that's been added. If you click on it, it will give you all of the information about the objects that have been uploaded. So I can see that those have been updated. I'm going to go into my drawing sheet and now we can see we're on version 2 as well. So let's run a compare on those. So I can have a look and see what changed. And in here you can see version 1 is blue, version 2 is red. So if I zoom in, you can see the elements that have changed. Now obviously it's geometry in this. It's, it's, it's fairly dumb information in terms of what it is, but it shows you the information that has been updated in terms of the visual graphics. Again. I'm going to resubmit this for another review and give it another try. So I'm going to resubmit to Chris. Chris has got another review to do. He's going to go into it. Again, see that version 2 is now there. Start the review process. And go in and check it. It will retain the information just there that you've done, but you can see that that's been updated. You could compare them as well to see what's been changed. But once he's happy with them, He's just going to approve it. Put in any comments that he wants as well. Once that's done, because the information has been approved, if we click on architect, you'll see that folder, that file is now in there as version one is the main submission of this gone through the internal processes and there's two versions of what's happened internally and you can always access them but in terms of what's going to be published and issued to the main team for sharing uh, you can see that the first one there we go quite a simple process but really quite flexible with some fantastic tools in there from Win360 thank you very much I'd like to open up the forum for any questions